Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Got a CCNA security quick quiz here for you today. And we're gonna jump right into it. I've got six statements here for you today. And I need to know which of these describes an IPS. And we've got a really good discussion coming up when we go through these answers about the differences between an IPS and a certain other device. So even if you think you know the answers to this one, stick around for it. A, typically an inline device. B, serves as an out-of-band network protector. C, slows traffic slightly due to packet analysis followed by forwarding. D, receives mirrored copies of traffic. E, operates in promiscuous mode. F, can't prevent dangerous traffic on its own. So especially, you might hear that last one say, well, what good is it? Well, we're going to talk about that in just a moment. A quick word here about a couple of courses I've got for you on Udemy for the CCNA security certification. I have a 100% free course and an almost free course. The free one is going to show you all about Cisco Configuration Professional. I think it's about two hours of free training. I've got some other videos in there for you as well, and I know you'll enjoy that. The pre-sale is going on right now for my CCNA security course, which will be done by the end of January 2013. If you you jump in now and use the coupon code BULLDOG68, this is what's going to happen. Your course cost goes down to $39. And you could start studying today uh, because I've got five or six hours of video up there already for you. When we complete that, and that will be done by the end of January, or before that, uh, the price is going to go up a little bit. I'll still keep it reasonable as I always do, uh, but there's definitely an advantage to being a pre-sale student. So check that out. Now let's head down through these six choices because when we're talking about an IPS, an intrusion prevention system, we are going to be comparing it to an IDS, an intrusion detection system. And that sounds like one of these things in networking where we're really splitting hairs, but there are some major differences here. With the IPS, you're talking about an inline device. I use the word typically here. Uh, I could have used always because your IPS is going to be an inline device. So A definitely describes it. Now, B serves as an out-of-band network protector. Uh, that describes an IDS. So B would not be correct for this particular question. Slows traffic slightly due to packet analysis followed by forwarding. Uh, that actually does describe an IPS because, again, the device is in line. So as the packets come in, the device is going to analyze them and then forward them if it's supposed to. Now, it receives mirrored copies of traffic. That describes an IDS to a T, uh, as does choice E, operates in promiscuous mode. Because promiscuous mode and out of band kind of really the same thing. Uh, they're not directly in the line of fire, so to speak. Mirrored copies of the traffic are going to be sent to an IDS and analyzed there. They're not analyzed immediately as they come in on the original device. Can't prevent dangerous traffic on its own also describes an IDS. Uh, it can alert another device that something needs to be done, but since it's out of the line of fire, it's an out-of-band device, it cannot take direct action on those packets coming in. So the two choices here that did describe an IPS, typically an inline device, and slows traffic slightly due to packet analysis, the IDS serves as an out-of-band network protector, it gets mirrored copies of traffic, operates in promiscuous mode, and it cannot prevent dangerous traffic on its own. Thanks so much for taking the CCNA Security Quick Quiz. Got a lot more on the way, so be sure to subscribe to me out on YouTube. And thanks for making TBA part of your CCNA Security Success Story.